All right. Let's try asking this student here. Hypothetically speaking, what are your thoughts on these phantom thieves if they were real? <laughs> this completely goes against the opinion you had about them being tried by law, Kejikun. Indeed. It's rather intriguing to hear such a strong acknowledgement. In that case, there's one more question I'd like to ask. If someone close to you, for example, your friend next to you, if his heart suddenly changed, wouldn't you think it was the work of the Phantom Thieves? I see. But how can you be so sure? Whether the Thieves' actions are good or not, I feel there is a more important issue at hand. Hmm? What do you mean? The matter of how they change people's hearts. If they honestly possess that ability, it could be used for more than extracting confessions. It could be that what seem to be ordinary crimes are actually being perpetrated by these methods. You know, you're absolutely right. Oh, please don't misunderstand. This is all purely hypothetical. It is only if people who can use such a power truly exist. Either way, though, this cannot be ignored. The existence of the Phantom Thieves would be nothing but a threat to our everyday lives. To be honest, I'm already working alongside the police to help sort out this matter. It kinda seemed like what he was saying might be right. He made it sound like we're the baddies. I don't like it. But that stuff about the police... Do you think it's for real? He can say whatever he wants. The justice of it all is something we can decide for ourselves. Oh, sorry. I, I gotta go take a leak. Can you guys wait here? I'll be right back. Oh my god. I'm gonna keep going, okay? Oh, it's you. I'm glad I found you. I wanted to thank you in person. To paraphrase Hegel, advancement cannot occur without both thesis and antithesis. <laughs> My apologies. What I mean is that our discussion was quite meaningful. Few people around me are so willing to speak their minds as freely as you did earlier. Adults are only interested in using the young. While they simply do as the adults say. There are too many irresponsible people in these modern times. I can understand why you'd support the Phantom Thieves. Hmm. It's possible that this group is just as you believe, and they are truly acting with good intentions. Since they have special talents, I assume their hearts must be burning with a sense of justice and duty. But that justice is merely a facade, concealing their lack of true strength. That's why I believe, if a truly powerful opponent were to corner them, they would flee without a second thought. Oh, you really are intriguing. I bet you'd make for a worthwhile debate partner on the subject. If it's all right with you, would you continue sharing your thoughts with me? Thank you. That's great news. I sense something in you that's quite different from other people. I guess you can call it my detective's intuition. <laughs> Kidding, of course. <sighs> I can't believe you evaded the police's network until today. The only logical explanation is that someone in the police has ties to the Phantom Thieves. Explain yourself. I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast acquired a new vow. It shall become the wings of rebellion that breaketh thy chains of captivity. With the birth of the Justice Persona, I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power.
Ah, yes. We should exchange contact info. And... registered. Well, I hope to see you again sometime soon. The detective's intuition, huh? We shouldn't underestimate that. On the other hand, there's an awful lot we could learn from him. If he contacts you, try hanging out with him. <sighs> Sorry for taking so long. Wait, was that a catchy? I can't stand that high and mighty attitude. I'm just breathing the same air as it makes me sick. Come on, let's go. That is good to hear. That's not bad. Sounds lovely. Goodbye, then.
Mm. It was quite nice. See you later. Let us go. What will you do? Bye. 
Very impressive. Sorry to bother you.
We will meet again. What do you want to do? It was quite nice.
Goodbye then. Hey. Also, Not bad. How about this? Very impressive. How about this? Leave it to me. All right.
Good night, then. Thank you. Well, this place should do nicely. This. Remember what I told you? If you ever won against me using my right hand, I'd take you on with everything I've got. That wasn't enough to satisfy me. It's your own fault, though. Your insight allowing you to determine my dominant hand, your quick wit, and most of all, how fast you've grown. You've exceeded my expectations in every way. Thus, I've built up this urge to duel you without holding anything back. Thank you for indulging my selfish request. No need for pleasantries at this point, correct? Let's go! You won't be able to defeat me unless you actually fight with lethal intent. Now, show me your true skills. Persona! Don't rush it. Ha! No? Not bad. Can you take this? Show me Come. what you can do. No. Six. Can you take this? I wonder you're the leader of the Phantom Thieves. You've caught up to me on this front already, too. Of course not. But if we go any further, we'd both go beyond the point of no return, wouldn't we? In all honesty, I'd love to see just how far we can go. But we have an important mission coming up. Until that's finished, you're a vital ally to me. You're done here. Let's go.
Once again, I've learned something new about you today. As allies fighting alongside one another, your strength is truly reassuring. In all honesty, it's to the point that I'd be relying on you in a pinch. <laughs> you truly are well composed. I'm sorry I asked you to indulge me, but I do feel a bit better now. All right. By the way, about that duel. If we had fought to the end, do you see yourself winning? I had a feeling you'd say that. I'm going to be entirely honest with you. I hate you. Your deft handling of your unfortunate circumstances. Your uniqueness. Your ability to surpass me. All these irritate me. You're the one person I refuse to lose to. You really are... No, never mind. I'll let you have this win today. But next time, I will be victorious. Let this be my proof. a tradition in the West to throw one's glove at their opponent when demanding a duel. Should the opponent accept the glove, the duel is also accepted. Make certain that you never forget, I am the one who will defeat you. <sighs> Look at the time. Let's call it a day for now. Long time no see. You! Why is he here? <laughs> I'm impressed that you managed to deceive me. It seems I underestimated your abilities. You truly are interesting. Quiet, yet possessing the courage and determination to take action. Under different circumstances, we could have been great rivals. Or perhaps even friends. Wonderful. You don't allow yourself to be enslaved by such things as human relations or past selves. And so your heart is always free. The exact opposite of mine. To be honest, I'm envious. I wonder why we couldn't have met a few years earlier. But it's no use talking in hypotheticals. That didn't happen in reality. Akechi, why are you cooperating with someone like Shido? Don't you see what this palace looks like? His true nature is... Cooperating? What are you talking about? I don't care for Shido or this country. All this is to make Masayoshi Shido my father. Acknowledge me. ...then exact revenge on him. Shido is your father? Remember I said before... ...how my mother had been in a relationship with some good-for-nothing man? So I'm his bastard child. My very existence is nothing but a scandal. My mother's life turned for the worse after she had me... ...and died. I was a cursed child for her, too. That's horrible. I resented him. But he was already a high-ranking official by then. A kid like me could do nothing. But... That's when it happened. <laughs> that's when I learned about the cognitive world. Someone, be it god or demon, gave me a chance. I couldn't contain my laughter! You son of a... Who cares? My targets were all doing the same damn thing in this eater-be-eaten world. All I did was remove their evil from society. How is that any different from the Phantom Thieves? We're 
are not murderers! So what? Masayo Shishido is finally within my grasp! Once he reaches the apex of his power and acknowledges me, I'm going to whisper in his ear. I will tell him the truth of who I really am. And that's when I, an utter disgrace to the world, will rule over him. I will prevail! What a warped thought. It's almost pitiable. In just a few weeks, my plan would have come to fruition. But no. You just had to interfere! I can still take it back, though. I'll just need to kill you all. <laughs> we won't get killed for something like that. You talk big, but you're really nothing more than a little kid throwing a temper tantrum. Don't lecture me, you piece of shit! I am going to personally thrust Masayo Shishido into a living hell. So, Joker, rest easy and die. I agree. There is no need to speak any longer. You sure sound confident. Don't go pressing your luck. We already know all your tricks from back when you were working with us. Joker... How could you be so successful while having such an idiot as your partner? Huh? Quit bluffing! It's no bluff. If he truly is behind the mental shutdowns, he's likely only shown us a fraction of his strength. <laughs> I'll tell you all about my true power. While you die, you can take that knowledge with you to the grave. Kill them! was that? <laughs> you ready to call it quits? I know. I've had enough. You're so lucky. Lucky to be surrounded. ...by teammates who acknowledge you. And once Shido confesses his crimes... ...he'll all be heroes. As for me... ...people will find out my past deductions were just charade. My fame and trust will vanish. <laughs> I see. So you were turning people psychotic... ...then solving the cases yourself. And you did that by joining forces with Shido. <laughs> In the end... I couldn't be special. Dude, you're more than special. It pains me to admit, but your wit and strength far exceeds ours. We only defeated you by teaming up. I was honestly envious of your natural ability. It was frustrating to see how much my sister trusted you. I have no intention of forgiving you for what you did to my father, but... I sympathize with you. I wholeheartedly understand wanting to get back at the adults who took from you. But when you gained the power to fulfill that desire, you only used it for your own self-benefit. If you've got more than one persona, maybe you actually have the same kind of power as Joker's, but you trusted no one. So you only got two personas. One for your lies, and one for your hate. Still, you thought that was enough, right? That part I totally get. You excelled at everything over us. Yet that was the one thing you lacked. <laughs> Alright, let's go back and get that calling card ready. We're gonna take Shido down. What are you gonna do? It'd be a problem if you kept getting in our way. Wanna come along and help us settle things? Are you all idiots? You should get rid of me. If you don't want me getting in your way. <laughs> you all are truly beyond my comprehension. A catchy? Another one? Wait, is he? That's Shido's cognitive version of a catchy. <laughs> I'll deal with the rest of you later. 
Captain Shido's orders. He has no need for losers. Well, this just moves the plan up a little. He was going to get rid of you after the election anyway. What? Did you truly believe you'd be spared after all the murders you undertook? Don't tell me. Were you actually feeling good about having someone rely on you for once? Oh, by the way, the captain says it's time you receive retribution for causing the mental shutdowns. The hell, man! That bastard's the one who put him up to it! <laughs> I see. I was wondering how he'd protect himself. If I use my power to tear through his palace, turns out you're how. So he's making a puppet kill me. Sounds like something he'd do. That's right. I'll do anything. But look at yourself. You're the true puppet. <gasps> you wanted to be acknowledged, didn't you? To be loved. You've been nothing but a puppet from the very beginning. You little... So this... is how Shido thinks of Goro Akechi? It's... it's too... horrible. It's still not too late. We can change his heart together. Even if he's your father. No, because he's your father. What's all this nagging about? Want me to take care of you first? No, he's not alone. He has shadows too. You know what? I'll let someone volunteer to take his place. Who knows? You might delay his death. Damn you! You guys are all about doing things for others, aren't you? Oh, that's just the same as me. I'm going to take all the blame for our captain. I'll die for him, too. This is what Shido thinks of Akechi-kun? Even after making him help with the murders? Here. I'll give you one last chance. Shoot them. <laughs> I was such a fool. Yes. That's the you our captain wishes to see. <laughs> Don't misunderstand. You're the one who's going to disappear! trying to get yourself killed <laughs> real fools are you guys you should have just abandoned me here a long time ago you would have all perished if you had tried to face these with me weighing you down <coughs> a catchy gun <laughs> let's make a deal okay you won't say no will you why at a time like this? Change Shido's heart. In my stead. And his crimes. Please! <laughs> After all this, that's what you have to say. Seriously. You really are. blood oath. Thy bond shall become the wings of rebellion and break the yoke of thy heart. Thou hast awakened the ultimate secret of justice, granting thee infinite power. All right. All right. You bastard! So, my final enemy is a puppet version of myself. I... A catchy gun! Isn't there some way to get this open, Mona? 
His signal is... gone. I'm only getting the weaklings. No. Come on, you guys. We can't let a rotten criminal like Shido do what he wants any longer. We can't. No matter what. 